Over here. You want to see a cool magic show? Follow me. <laughs> All right, guys. You ready to see the most awesome show in your entire lives? No! <laughs> I can put it back. That's right. It's 10 tricks for dummies. Watch my fingers, right? I got two loops. Oh. Ooh. Bam! How did I do that? Bam! Magic. <laughs> Magic! <laughs> I'm gonna fix it! Magic! Just another ordinary pencil. See? All stiff and hard. I'm gonna put a magic spell on it. I'm gonna make it wiggly. <laughs> Look at this flat pencil. That's right, I did this. I flattened it with my magic. <laughs> Yo! Touch it. Cup still there, right? And bam! What? Where did it go? Where did that leg go? Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how you can be a professional magician so you can show off to your friends and your family and impress them. The first trick I did was a thumb detachment, but really I just got my other thumb, put my finger around like this, I bent my left hand thumb down and then I hit it as if it was still attached and then when you slap it down to your knee you have to make that big sound so it sounds like you just broke your thumb off. So it goes BAM! Ah, and you have no thumb. <laughs> the thumb is here. But really, I have two thumbs. The second trick I did, I had these two little finger hoops, right? And then when I went in my back, I actually did this. I linked my fingers together like this so they can't come out. And then I put it forward. So this is what you see. And then when I brought it back again, I unlinked my fingers. And now they're two separate little loops. And you're just gonna put it forward again and impress your audience. My third trick was my pen floating trick. Now this one was pretty impressive, but really my finger is holding on to it so it won't fall. When I blew it, I just let go of the pen. For the spoon bending trick, I had only my pinky around the spoon and the rest of my fingers were like this. And then I took my other hand and it was as if I was holding the spoon. So from the front, it looks like I'm holding the spoon, but from the back, I'm actually holding it like this. So when I go down, it looks like it's bending, but really I'm just making it go down. Now you're a magician. Now for the wiggly pencil, it's really about just your grip. So if you do this and you hold it really tight and you wiggle it, it's really hard, right? But if you just loosen just your fingertips, move your arm up and down like this, and it looks like it's wiggling. So you hold it super tight, it's like this, it looks like this, it's stiff, and then you loosen your fingertips, and it looks like this. I actually think this is just magic. This is. It's not even a trick, it's magic. The next trick was the flat pencil trick, but really, we had a duplicate. This was actually a popsicle, and it was painted to look like a pencil. So what I did was I had the flat pencil hidden in between my fingers like this. So when I flattened it, the flat pencil was there, and I just kind of dragged away. So this is what it looks like if I just take the pencil, and then I just kind of, bam! 
For the moving ring trick, you're gonna need a really long rubber band, and you're gonna put a ring through it. Put the ring closer to this hand first, pinch almost next to it, and drag it out. And you see all this excess right here? Hide it in your hand. You're just gonna let go of the rubber band slowly, and it'll make the ring move. Cool, huh? <laughs> Now for the paperclip trick, I have my very own Moon Waffles $20 million. That's me, by the way, by the, with the monocle, you know, cool. What you're gonna do is actually fold the paper kind of like this, not completely. You're gonna take the first paperclip and clip these two parts together right here. And you're gonna take the second paperclip and you're gonna clip these two parts right here. So it goes in right there. Now you wanna pull it really slowly and then the paper clips are gonna get near each other and then clip, the paper clip falls off and it's connected. Yeah, this is not a trick, this is just sorcery. For the trick where the cup goes through the table, you're gonna need this cup and then you need kind of like a stiff napkin because you don't want a super soft one, you want a kind of rough. So that way when you do the outline, it kind of stays. Now, you see how when I showed you the cup like this, I actually had my legs crossed and I dropped the cup here, and right when I squished it, bam! I just picked the cup up from my lap. Now for the finale trick, making my leg disappear. So you saw the towel go down, and then the towel went up again, legs gone. Towel went down, up, and the legs back. That's because this is what it looks like from the back. Make sure you're already leaning on this leg so it won't be obvious when you lift your leg up. When that first towel goes down, lift your leg up, bring that up, probably about right above your knee. Bring that back down, and then bring your leg down, and then your leg came back. And that's all the tricks and the secrets I had to give you today. You might think, those are really simple tricks, Helen. How can I impress people? Trust me, you can impress a lot of people with these tricks because you're going to get mind blown about how amazing it is. That's it for today's bonus video. I hope you guys liked it. And for next week's bonus video, I want you guys to leave me some suggestions in the comment down below so I can figure out what to do next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll give you my thumb. Take my thumb, guys. Just take it. <laughs>